Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A legendary 90s singer looked unreogniable at Nordoff and Robin's O2 Silver Clef Awards at the Grosvenor House Hotel in London on Friday. The Manchester native, 58, was catapulted to superstardom with 1989 hit all around the world before going on sale a whopping 20 million pound records worldwide. She has released eight albums, duet with the likes of Queen and George Michael, as well as performing on the soundtrack for iconic movies The Bodyguard and Indecent Proposal. She's won numerous Brit Awards, Ivor Novello Awards and received two Grammy nominations as well as turning her hand to acting, appearing in 2008's The Edge of Love of alongside Kira Knightley and 2014 drama Northern Soul. But can you guess who she is? It's none other than Lisa Stansfield, who won the Nordoff and Robin Silver Clef Award herself for Best Newcomer in 1990. She cut a chic figure as she took to the red carpet in a gray suit which boasted a plunging neckline and cropped trousers. Lisa also wore a black bucket hat along with a pair of 790-pound Gucci Lothers, complete with sparkly gold socks. Oozing confidence Lisa flashed a huge smile as she posed with her hands in her pockets before heading into the swanky event. All Around the World earned the singer two Grammy Award nominations and her first solo album Affection is her best-selling album to date. However she doesn't have fond memories of the song. Lisa revealed back in 2018 that she's haunted by the way she looked in the 1989 music video. Speaking on an episode of Lorraine, the singer confessed she doesn't like to watch the video back, despite the song being her most successful single to date. The search for a star winner admitted, I had this funny weird fat face. It was done in a rush. And 30 years later and still haunts me. Revealing that she's still grateful for the chances she had, she added, People say to me about my music it got me through college, it saved my marriage, it helped me to come out. It's wonderful to be part of someone's life in a big way. Yet there is a downside to the industry, as Lisa admitted she struggled to cope with fame. It got to the point where I just couldn't go out of the house or to the shops, it made me twitchy, she explained. We, Lisa and husband Ian Devaney, ended up living in Ireland for 14 years to get away from it. Lisa married music producer Ian Devaney, 58 in New York in 1998 after working together since the mid-1980s. The pair met for the first time when they were at school and both starring in the school play. Then several years later they then met up and formed the band Blue Zone alongside Andy Morris. The band broke up when Lisa went solo however they continued to all work together as Lisa provided the vocals and Ian and Andy worked on the production.